everyone, I'm Dr. Madhu Bagaria and I'm here to discuss a question which is often asked by my patient. Do I have endometriosis if my recent ultrasound and MRI scan has been negative? In my practice, I see a lot of patients who are dismissed by the providers because as a part of evaluation of the pain, they have undergone MRIs and ultrasound and they all came to be negative. In order to understand this, you need to understand that endometriosis runs in a continuum. It can be a superficial disease which means it could be a tiny speck on the wall, or it could be a deeply invasive disease, which can grow inside the pelvic side wall, it can grow on your bowels, bladder, and it can also form chocolate cysts of the ovaries. When we talk about ultrasound and MRIs, they're not sensitive in picking up these tiny specks on the wall. It's highly impossible for them to pick up these lesions, but they can pick up these uh, deeply invasive implants and the chocolate cysts of the ovaries. Even then, you need to understand it is highly operator dependent and depends on the skills of the radiologist who is ultimately reading these scans. So I don't want you to get disheartened when you get this report that you have a totally normal ultrasound and MRI scan because in my experience, I've seen that most of them may not be accurate and it's very important for us as surgeons to review these images by ourselves.